Welcome to Market Movers. I'm Rob Black, and here are the top business money stories of the day. Today's top story, media moguls understanding the internet. Big media companies have finally started to figure out how to cope with tech companies drawing audiences away from televisions and movies and taking their content at the same time. There's a film and TV executive at Walt Disney named Jay Rizzolo. He knows just where businesses are headed. These big media companies were once threatened by players like Netflix, you know, the big internet guys. Traditional entertainment companies now view online outlets as a rich new vein for viewers who will pay eight bucks a month for mostly older films and TV shows. Pressure programs such as the Olympics that are coming up from NBC Universal or Comcast, I'm not sure which one to call it, they're reserved for cable and satellite subscribers who already pay much, much more. We're in the media business where we have to be everywhere, so said Rizzolo, Disney's chief financial officer. The strategies of established media companies tackling online video have evolved over the past two years. Initially, it was the big media companies that would put up shows for free on websites. Companies like Time Warner and Disney would put shows on Hulu.com. Then they basically saw the decline of the newspaper industry. Now, it's not too late. People think it may be too late because the internet is moving too fast too far. Today, the big media companies are requiring usernames and passwords. They're making sure everyone pays for movies and TV shows. They're reserving their newest and best material for the highest paying customers. Even newspapers are starting to charge for more than limited access to their websites. There's been this big push to get video behind content walls or behind paywalls with the authentication. Now that there is this foundation in place, you're starting to see some interesting things come out. For instance, Disney introduced applications that let cable subscribers watch live shows on their iPhone or iPad. The company's Disney applications were the ninth most downloaded free iPad application recently. The Disney executive I was talking about recently signed a 10-year program in agreement to put Disney into a relationship with Comcast. Comcast is the largest U.S. pay TV provider. It underscores the industry's emerging consensus. The Accord's worth $22 to $25 billion. Shares of traditional cable and entertainment companies also suggest the newfound conference is extending to investors as well, as a lot of media companies are at 52-week highs or near 52-week highs. One of the obvious losers in this whole scenario are the cable TV providers and or the satellite TV providers. Cable has an edge over satellite, but not by far. Satellite has recently had some problems renegotiating content to send out to their subscribers. The big media, they're enjoying their day in the sun after having years of losing programming to the internet. The big media companies are finally starting to use the media and the internet in their favor. So those are the top stories that you need to know. Don't forget, tell friends, come back often. I'm Rob Black from Market Movers, and I'll talk to you soon.